let's uh, look at uh, the overview um, of fun uh, the functional setup manager. So uh, it's essentially an application. When I say functional setup manager, it is an application. Um, it's an application in Fusion, which actually helps us to uh, helps us to configure the system. Um, you know, all the four or five phases that if you remember, the ones that we had discussed. Um, identification, planning, execution, maintenance, right? Maintenance and control. So all those five phases that we talk about or the four phases in, in more generic, those are controlled from functional setup manager. So how do these phases actually fall in line with this uh, with this application or how does this application control them when you say you want to implement something uh, you know you want to implement um, project execution management or you want to impl implement reporting under uh, the projects uh, the um, with the bo with both the PPM and the PEM, when you want to implement that, or you want to add in some features, we use the offerings. So the offerings help you identify which of these is what you need. So, um, uh, you you uh, said that you've already seen the uh, Fusion application, right? Since you've already seen the Fusion application, you know that all the features here um, are available as opt-in features. So if there is a particular area that you would want to uh, implement, like you don't want to have a PEM, then we don't check that. Or if you just want the PEM and not the uh, PP, PFM, then you check only the PFM. Um, so what this does is it enables or it helps us to configure only those features that are related to that particular module. Uh, even under the module, the, it helps us to configure, it helps us to see only those uh, items or those features uh, which are needed by us. We check those features and then we try to set them up. So when, when I say set them up, it's more like um, setting the uh, configuring those particular tasks to enable those tasks to be available for the working of the or for uh, the usage of the application. Uh, when you plan to uh, use the application in a particular manner, maybe you need some features or you don't need some features. So basis on that, you check those features. Like if you say, um, I want to have the assets feature, uh, I'm just giving you an example. So you, you would select that feature through which when you, are con uh, when you try to push the information from um, the project financial management into the asset side of it, you have enabled that option. So once this is done, then we have the other one which is for uh, uh, implementation or the um, development. Uh, it also helps us do that and then in case there is a feature that is needed at a later point in time, we enable that feature. We come back um, to the uh, features options, the opt-in features options, and we do that stuff. So it is, it all, all in all, it's an, uh, it's an application that helps us to configure these, or that takes us through these five features and helps us to use the application and the way it is designed and configure it to our business need. So this is how um, the, um, the Functional Setup Manager works. So um, it's a project in itself, but it is not a project that is driven by the um, projects. I mean the Oracle Fusion projects in, in a way, the PFM and PM, it's not uh, derived or um, you know it's not driven by these by these two oh. so that's an overall uh, you know whatever we do uh, the planning that we do in 
uh, you know using the um, regular excel sheet or uh, the projects we use that to say that okay we are we are done with this stage or these are the the um, the sub level uh, project planning that we do right um, the module level planning that we do so all that is done here in PSF uh, the PSM if you want to call it as PSM or the setup manager uh, that level of planning is uh, being done here and that is controlled from here you can assign the task to each individual uh, named resource um, and you allow them to work on that task they um, get to proceed and then they get to uh, report completion on that there is a tracker as well on that um, the level up to which that they have configured or you know, percentage complete so all that can be tracked there so that's essentially a project but that project is not driven by any of these two modules all right so uh, see so this is what it does it uh, when you configure the system uh, when you configure this application it helps us to um, it gives us a list of all the tasks that we need to configure like I said these tasks um, are the ones that are needed for the application to start working so uh, let me um, I'm just trying to get this application working so that I can simultaneously show you how it looks looks like there's some problem with the um, instance okay um, so um, and also the one major advantage that we have here is it um, like I said it helps us to track the progress um, you know, uh, assuming uh, all of us are working in it and uh, um, there is a manager who's created this project and he's assigning certain tasks uh, maybe he's assigned uh, uh, tables to me and uh, some other module across to you uh, people and one to Ramki and uh, one to Jimmy so each of us is responsible uh, we are responsible for our own uh, modules and uh, the sub tasks that are there in this module we don't really have to uh, have them in an Excel to track instead we have all these modules listed down under there and that would help us track the progress and also ensure that we are completing each of these tasks so once it is complete it says all of these tasks are complete and it also helps us uh, to move between instances um, like you uh, it, it's a practice it's a common practice when uh, um, I'm sure you must have also done this um, you've configured the system and uh, after a point in time you have uh, said that okay I've got all the uh, um, you know all the all that all the things sorted out and this is the final configuration that I would want to proceed and this is good so usually when we have that date approaching what we try to do is we try to back up all the um, setups and then uh, get a clean instance uh, instance cloned and from here forward we would want to uh, ensure that we are not using um, dummy names right like uh, there are many times we create a hyphen dummy or hyphen one test um, for some of the organizations or uh, for some of these setups that we do we don't have to really do that when we clone the instance uh, usually we do this before we go in we are heading into the uh, UAT season um, we try to clear up all the configuration and then we know that it is all good we try to remove those um, uh, prefixes or postfixes and then go with the uh, standard naming convention uh, that we have already decided so in that case we get we got uh, all these things done and then we would want to back up this clean uh, configuration so that when we are moving to the next instance that is when we are moving if you have one more instance uh, say a new UAT instance maybe you would want to copy the all the setups into US UAT instance rather than redoing up all the uh, steps manually um, you could do that and once UAT is clear 
then you could also use in case there are no changes and you would want to move them directly to production then you could do, even do that so uh, I'm sure you already are aware of this but it's just that we're co covering and ensuring that it is all in place so uh, the, these uh, talk about the same thing you know, the features that we just discussed um, like I said um, it would help us to configure all the uh, task in, on the tasks that you check here are available for configuration through the opt-in opt-ins and the features when you uh, use those features and uh, if there is a, there there are certain features you can turn off at a later point in time or you want to turn in but once you start using them uh, usually turning off doesn't happen as you uh, know that we don't turn it off unless and until we are trying to deprecate something and say that okay no longer we're going to use this feature all right so this is uh, again uh, talking a little more in terms of that and usually um, the uh, PSF um, the uh, the FSM it comes uh, the application implementation user by default comes up with comes with this I mean who, who, whatever is the user that you're uh, primarily getting in uh, you use for setting up that user already has this um, um, role uh, that is needed